it's I found a gun and gun rival. Stop it. Stop it. You're on like a major road. So how do people find out it has to be set up? Do they the paper? Like online? Um, they do in the local paper. Oh my god, I'm in the picture. Did you see me pausing? People always do that. People always smile. I would never take a picture like this. I'm not posting that anywhere. I always start my videos in the morning on my way to Star Wars, Starbucks. Do you? I said on my way to Star Wars. So you haven't, you haven't even had your Starbucks. No. That's why you are. I always start it. I'm like, no I, makeup. I'm bagel boss again. You already have your caffeine. I do not have my caffeine in me yet. So I got yelled at by my husband. Mm -hmm. It's raining. My daughter has a pool party today. She's going to be so upset. And I tried to, do you understand? I tried with Vera's daughter to go like this. Because Vera said that she doesn't want to do her hair. So I was trying to be the cool aunt with her on the couch. I'm like, let me do your hair. You have such, you know, such pretty hair, which she does. She was like, no. She's like, please, this. a nice French braid? Like this. No. I said, we'll show your mother with like a nice start from here. No. I was like, all right. Yeah. We went to an event and it was with Barbie, Star Pony or something. Oh, Kids View. They had it? five people professionally braiding hair. I was, I was, I gasped. I was like, oh, Natalie, go do your hair. She was like, no. Nah. I was like, but, but, I was like, can I do it? And they were like, no, it's just for kids. Yeah, no. She doesn't understand no. the power of a good braid. She does have good thick hair. She does, but she doesn't like well, combing it. So anyway, we're off to, uh, to Starbucks, Starbucks and then she's leaving. Audrey's leaving. I'm so sad. I oh, know. I don't want to be driving too And we, I just said we can't take a joint. In my head I said it. We can't take the family picture. Natalie's not no, here. Natalie's not here. I thought of that after she left. But anyway. Next How do you like your smoothie? Thank you. Thank you. I have a different color than yours. What does yours taste like? Cookies and cream? Now we're gonna look for some gluten-free stuff because mommy has to change her ways. Lots of options. So I got my blood test back and I did not have hypothyroidism, which was, I knew that. I mean, she told me from my first test, I didn't have hypothyroidism, so I wasn't expecting it to show up with this one. Um, but I've been spending the day looking at um, gluten-free like books and websites and I'm just about to sit down and start a folder so I can just reference all these sites that everyone's giving me like everyone's telling me websites that they like. I put it on my Instagram and I put it on my Facebook wall and I'm actually nauseous. I'm literally nauseous like I'm going to throw up and that's not a joke. It's, it's, I'm having a physical guttural re reaction to the thought of having to change my diet. I don't like that. I, I like to just be able to eat whatever I want. I am not a healthy eater. Um, I like french fries and I like hamburgers and I like fried chicken and I like nachos and the thought that I am not gonna, I'm gonna start crying because of this, okay? I mean, this is like making me sick. Like, I don't even want to not be able to go into a restaurant and look at a menu and be like, oh, I feel like having um, spinach and artichoke dip and nachos. And I don't wanna be like, is there gluten in that? Like, what? Who, I don't wanna be that person. I do not wanna be this person. And I have to become this person, and this is like the worst thing that has ever happened to me because that's one thing I don't like. Like when I had Natalie, and I had diabetes when I had Natalie, I was on bed rest. I was on bed rest for five months. Having diabetes was worse than not being able to get out of the bed. Not being able to move for five months was horrible. It was like you wanted to die. But me having to limit my carbs was worse for me because I was like, what do you mean I can't have whatever I want to eat out of that pantry bag of Doritos? What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? I fulfilled my carb quota for the lunch. Like, me having diabetes was the end of, of the world for me. It was the end of the world for me. 
I think Caleb is sleeping on the couch. That's pretty funny. So now I have to deal with gluten. Forever! <sighs> like, does chicken wings have gluten? I don't, I'm like really having a panic attack over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. I'm going to throw up. I like junk, like crap. And now I'm like, I'm going to have to think about things and like know stuff. I don't want to know stuff. I don't want to sit down and know. Oh, no, I can't have this because this has gluten in it. I don't want to know that. I don't want to know that. I'm really upset. So here's my first recommendation, just in case anybody is... Oh, I'm so upset. I do not want to do this. How do I even do this? New folder? How do you start a new folder? Folder. I don't know how to do this. Here, new folder. Unbelievable. I'm so upset. Here, wait. New folder. Gluten. Free. Kill me. I'm going to write gluten free. Kill me. That's the name of my folder. Save. All right, so I saved Lexi's Kitchen. A couple people have written things here. So we love Lexi's Clean against all the green. I'm so upset. I do not even want to do this. What is it against all green? Oh my god, I can't even think about this. This is making me sick. This is making me sick. Where's my gluten-free one? Where'd it go? has recipes supposedly. Oh my god, I'm just so upset. Oh, I was there already. I've been on this site. Sucks. Well, this is what $300 of gluten-free product looks like. 300 bucks, guys. It's like disgusting. All right, so tonight I am attempting to make my own sauce because I don't know if jarred tomato sauce is gluten free or not. Like, I don't know. I went to the Barnes and Nobles and I tried to get like a information book with my son earlier and all we found was recipe books. So I just assumed if you just do it fresh, then you won't have any problems, but this is like annoying. I feel like I'm back in school. I'm going to have to learn all over again. I don't think you can appreciate the rain right now. It's not translating well. Let me see if I can show you the front. It's my old food. My expired food I went through and made room. Yep, it's pouring. Pouring, pouring, pouring. My daughter's at a pool party right now, just in case they're wondering. So, she's having a blast. All right, family dinner. So we have gluten-free pasta from Barilla. My own sauce. Food should taste good. Tomato and basil crackers, it tastes actually delicious. Um, a whole bunch of vegetables. Salami's for Bill. And then Sabra tzatziki sauce, which is delicious. Manja.
Ready? We're singing. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if, if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me when you're not strong. I hope you carry on. All right, so I found gluten-free chocolate brownies from Dancing Deer. Seven bucks for four. That's just ridiculous. So expensive. It's like really ridiculous. This is such a market. What a scam. Let's try them. This is it. This is the true taste of I'm going to be really honest here. Tastes like a real brownie. Tastes like a gourmet browning like a rich decadent chocolate brownie which I don't like I like the um, cheapy you know Betty Crocker kind of deal really rich really rich but um, at least I could still eat brownies He's very chocolatey, but mommy doesn't like a lot of chocolate. Here comes trouble. Mama, I want to eat some cheese. What are you doing? It's broken. Broken. Let it go. Let it go. Sing to the camera. Let me see you. Look at mama. You sing. Mama, sit down here. Here we go. 